What better way to start a Saturday than reviewing probably the most popular card on FC24 right now, Alejandro Garnacho. Now, quickly, before we get into this, my hair's a bit bobbins at the moment. I need to get it cut. I do apologise that you have to see me looking like this. Same with my beard as well. It needs a cut. Regardless, though, if you're interested in the team, this is my road to glory, full Manchester United team, and we record content for this on Vitalisation 2. And of course, I had 85 Garnacho, which I imagine a lot of you will do as well, via the Centurions upgrade. I can't remember exactly what it was, but you could get this card up to an 85. He got the five-star weak foot. He also got, I think it was Finesse Shot, Travella, and maybe Quick Step. And with the new upgrade as well for the Dynasty players, he's game press proven and whipped pass. It takes eight games to get this card. Done it all in squad battles. And it's nice to have the whipped pass and press proven, right? Press proven isn't the best, but whipped pass is very good for the way that we're going to be playing with Garnacho. And I do quite like that as a play style. And of course, as I've already said, the five-star weak foot. He's got 92 pace, 88 for his shooting, 78 passing. He's got 88 dribbling, poor defending and physical as well. Can only play left wing and left mid, which is a little bit disappointing. But still, it's okay. As you go into the in-games, this is where it gets really, really juicy, right? He's got great pace. His shooting is unbelievable. He's got great passing as well outside of long pass. Good curve at 89, short pass at 82, and vision at 81 is nice with 81 crossing as well. Dribbling is where this card goes crazy, though. He's got 97 agility and 99 balance. His reactions are a little bit low. Same with the ball control and composure. 81 composure is quite poor. Ball control at 86 is okay, and reactions is actually decent at 87. You know, dribbling at 88 as well is decent. And you can see the chemistry we've applied is a maestro. First of all, the shooting boost you get with this is okay. You know, his long shots go up and his shot power is up to 99. Passing gets a decent boost here as well, up to 85 vision and 86 short pass. Goes up to 95 reactions, which I thought was really important. And also 96 dribbling. On the Centurions one, the 85 one, I had an engine on him. But with this, I've decided to push to the maestro. Of course, he doesn't have much in terms of physicals, and his stamina is quite low at 75, so I'm interested to see how that does play in game. I'm actually going to put Lukaku into the team here as well to try out the crosses to him. We're going to be in a 4-3-2-1, and he's going to be the right centre forward or right striker, right winger, whatever you really want to call him. We've got Lukaku on just stay forward. Let's get into a few games with Garni and see if he's worth it. If you need cheap, fast, and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to mmoexp.com. And use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. All right then, guys. First game now coming up with Garnacho. We're in champs as well. Proper champs. And let's see what this man can do. Yeah, and as I said, guys, if you want to see this kind of content played out, edited really nicely on this channel or on with this team, it's on Vipalization 2. You'll love it over there. Especially if you're a United fan, you'll absolutely love the content we've got going on over there. Regardless, though, this is the Garnacho test. And let's see what the man can do. This game's really, really sweaty this weekend for whatever reason. That's good football here. Go on in, Garner. Bang. Yeah, look at that straight away. His skill moves feel insane. You know, he's only got three-star skills, which is disappointing. But he moves like crazy with every skill move you can do with him. And it feels like we have got a man that can left stick dribble out the, the, the yin-yang here, guys. He feels unbelievable. Um, I have played a few games with him prior to this, so I do know what we are kind of getting. That's nice. Go well, on, in you go. That's a good ball, actually. George Best is there, and it's assist for Garnacho there as well. Nice. And that's what you're getting, guys. That is what you're getting, the ability to bang shots. But not only just bang shots, he's got the ability to make really good crosses because of the whip pass. And it makes his card just levels. You know? Yeah, he's a bit weak. You kind of expect that. You know, he's not got a big body type. He's not that kind of player. This guy's got a strange team as well, by the way. Looks like he's gone for like a Chelsea team, but not exactly because he's got uh, that Smith girl in here. Oh, here he goes again. He's got acres to run into here too. It's a nice pass into big Rom. And Rom, oh, he's got a score really, hasn't he? Got a score that kind of, really, to be honest. It is what it is. So we're going to go backwards here, Regulon, and then we're going to look for Garnacho here. Oh, it's gone to blank. How has Cucurella just done that? What? That is Cucurella, right? Yeah, it is. It's gone actually again. Left stick dribbling time. Oh, his left stick dribbling. 
is wild, guys. He might be the best left stick dribbler on FC24. Simple as. Simple as. This guy's um, struggling quite a bit in this game, though, isn't he? Can't get anything going for himself. Got to be careful here. Yeah, he's gone for like a Chelsea team, but not not actually. You know, because I, I don't think Smith ever played for... Look at that R1. That's just R1 dribbling there, guys. Oh, this card's special. Oh, man. This card, this card is special, guys. He is everything you kind of want. And, and let me tell you something, guys. Regardless of how bad this game is, and it is a bad game. It is a bad game, this one. Um... Evos are incredible. Evos are absolutely the best thing EA have ever put into FIFA or FC, I suppose. You know, it's it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Nice, Harry Mags. Player in a month, by the way. What a return. What a comeback. Easy. Nice. Run, Garnier. Let's see you run. Come on. Beat you, man. Oof. He does struggle a little bit in them situations where I feel like somebody that's got a bit of a bigger body type would maybe be able to hold off like the fullbacks. Not no, that's really that bad a thing, right? His R1 dribbling. I know he's got technical, but it's because of that agility and balance, isn't it? His shots are really, really dodgy sometimes though. That felt like a two star weak foot. That was really strange there. Nice one there again from Big Maguire. Into Garni again. Drives into that space there. Nice big Roms there. Big Rom's not going to miss that. It's enough for assist for Garnacho. Let's get into another game. So, here is game number two coming up now with Garnashers. And that first game was very nice. Of course, as I said to you, I've played a few games with him already. Um, the game's just really stressful. So, I don't really want to give you like, the kind of content where I'm showing like me getting angry um, or moaning. So, I decided not to upload this last night and re-record it this morning. Here goes Garnacho again. Go on. Go on. He just feels so good on the dribbling, man. Look at that left stick dribbling there, guys. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then once again, you get to see there the struggles that you do get with his physicals. Um, you know, Not all the time is, are his physicals absolutely terrible, but sometimes they really do stink up the place a little bit. And you do have to be careful of that, you know, because you don't want to just try and run down the line with him. He's not that kind of player. You need to be dribbling with him a little bit. Oh, this is a... Strange game. Go on. Oh, I think that goes if, if that don't get blocked there. This guy's got a Dharma Troy all right. Uh, Abilly. Oh. Win that, please. Come on, George. You're decent in the air. Nice. In there. Nice. I literally... Th th this game here is really odd because it's one of them games where the midfield just seems to have no space in it. Oh. And Selma Basher as well, man. I have had enough against playing, playing against her. Every single game I play, it's Selma Basher. Go on, Garner. Get to it, please, lads. Okay. Oh, I know what this guy's trying to do this game. Nice. Well in. Well in. Well, actually, is in a bit of space there. I don't think Delo can find it, even though he has got incisive pass. Nice. Well in, Bruno. Go on, Garner. Run. Here he goes. First test up against Basher here. Have any of you guys had that happen to you since the patch? Because I'm getting that all the time. Just sitting idle on the game, and I look back, I've been disconnected from the EA servers. I don't know what's going on, man. That's really annoying, though. That's really, really annoying, and it's kind of chalk the weekend. Regardless, though, we are here to review Garnacho. That is so, so frustrating. Oh, okay. Let's see what we're up against here. That's now two DCs I've had this weekend. Oh, he's got Zidane, you know. Nice. Good foot. That's right, I need Maguire. Go on, Garney. He, honestly, sometimes he's too fast. I know that sounds absurd to say. Yeah, but so, sometimes he feels a bit too fast. This guy seems like a bit of a demon as well, so we're going to have to be on our toes here. Eusebio, yeah. These teams, man. Nice. Can Ron find that? I mean, it's it's asking a lot, isn't it, from the big man? But he has. Garnacho's done quite well there, too. Do some skill moves with him. Nice. On the inside now. Looking for that Traveller, which he is very good at. Oh, he might have, actually, guys. A bit too much shot power with this upgrade to be good at the Travellers. Um, I have scored a few with him. But they might be quite inconsistent because of the fact he does have... Is it 94 shot power now? Bit annoying, that. But still, it's not the end of the world, right? He really needs a playstyle plus, though, this Garnacho. 
And yeah, I know the inform does have, of course, Acrobatic Plus, but it's a terrible play style, that. It's a terrible play style, just gen generally speaking. And, and, I, and I wonder, guys, if I'm like actually just playing bad or if it's just the game. What do you guys think of the new patch, by the way? I think it's absolutely abysmal, personally. But, you know, I, I, I've I got my reservations about this game. I, I have done for ages. Um, so, yeah, there is, of course, that as well. Nice, Garnacho. You see that at the top there? I've got great... What on earth? What? Oh, guys. Guys, we might have to go to highlights. Oh, Delos just stopped running. And he's in. We're going highlights. We're going... We're going highlights. We're going highlights right now. Oh, that's a bad pass from Skullsy, that. Oh, Garnacho's in, though. Oh, that's just a ball roll. Why does this game do this to me, guys? Oh, my God. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. I've been... Uh, uh, okay. Okay. And here he goes again. Speed. Oh, no physicals. But he does that so much. I don't know what the hell that's all about, how he's doing that. Come on, Ngarni. Oh, <laughs> His close control is levels. It's such a shame he doesn't have um, f like three, four star or five star skills. Go on, Garney. See that crossing ability again. It's a lovely cross, and George Bess has got a score. That, that's tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Too much shot power, guys, unfortunately, I think. That's lovely from Garnacho here. He's got Rom in the box too. Rom is there, and it's a lovely cross from Garnacho. That whip pass is incredible, guys. Oh, Garnacho, that's lovely. Oh, oh, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Garnacho. Oh, Romelu Lukaku's Timberland boots. Oh, there he goes again. That's incredible from Garnacho. Incredible. He's in again. Garnacho's again. Oh, pen. Has to be. Oh, I love this card's left stick dribbling. I've got really lucky there. I've red timed it. His left stick dribbling is unbelievable. Right then, guys. Let's talk about Alejandro Garnacho's 88 rated evolution. I want to go over the negatives first. The first biggest negative, I think... Even though it's not that much of a big deal, is the three star skill moves. It'd be nice if he, you know, it'd be out of this world if he had five star, five star. He would be one of the best cards on the game if he had five star, five star. Do I think he's the best evolution as like a popular card? Yes, absolutely, I do. He is unbelievable at a few things, but of course, as I said, we're going to go over the negatives first. First negative is the three star skill moves. Second negative is the poor physicals. Stamina isn't bad. You won't feel that in game, which is quite good. I'm quite thankful for that because, you know, that low stamina could be a massive issue, but it isn't in game. So that's a big, big positive there. Um, the other really big negative I can say for this card is the fact that he's got 94 shot power. One of the things I loved doing with Garnashers was the Travellers. You can't do them anymore with this upgrade because he's got 94 shot power. You need 89 or under to get them consistently. So you can't do... The consistent Travellers with this card. Um, his shooting's good. It's not unbelievable, believe it or not. His finishing's a little bit subpar sometimes, but I don't think it's per se a negative. It's just something that you have to get used to because he doesn't shoot like other players for whatever reason. Of course, the five-star weak foot is nice to have as well. On to the positives. That was the first positive right there. The fact that his shooting is, you know, whilst a bit mid, once you get used to it, it's, it's decent. The first massive, massive positive is the pace mixed with the agility and balance and the fact he's got quick step. He is the fastest player I have used on this game, bar no one. Honestly, so, so fast. Um, he, he, honestly, quicker than Mbappe, quicker than Adama. And I think it's because of the, the massive agility and balance and, of course, the fact that he's got good pace already. He zooms past fullbacks, absolutely zooms. Next positive is 
the fact he has got this playstyle right here. His crosses are unbelievable, and it's really easy to get on the line and then look for the big man in the box. You know, we scored a fair few goals in them games and got quite unlucky with a few from his crosses. Crossing ability on this card is top tier and is a great thing on this card once again. And then the biggest positive, you know, we've already talked about a little bit of the agility and balance, is the dribbling. Whilst it looks quite low for reactions, ball control and dribbling on the, uh, the actual stats there, his dribbling is 100% insane. Because he's got technical, R1 dribbling with him is absurd. And his left stick dribbling is the best I've used on this game as well. He bobs and weaves and turns in and out like no one I've ever used on this game. Better than Messi, better than Mbappe once again, better than Dembele, better than a lot of the women as well. Better than Putalas, better than Hansen. He is unreal on the left stick dribbling and it's really, really handy for kind of bobbing and weaving and, and getting through. You know, this game's very heavy on left stick dribbling right now. So Garnacho is incredible at that and it makes it quite easy to burst through lines. You know, a bit of left stick dribbling into a sprint boost and utilising the crazy pace. And, you know, it is, it's a massive positive. And that's also why I don't think the skill moves being at three star is that big an issue. Because you can left stick dribble with him and then just absolutely zoom. You don't really need skill moves with this card. What am I rating this this dude? Um, honestly, you know, for, for me, as the bias that I have towards Garnacho, it would be a 10 out of 10. Um, quality of the card, though, I think like an 8.5. Four or five is probably fair for this card. You know, if he had five star skill moves, he would probably be one of the best cards on the game. But unfortunately, still stuck at that three star. So hopefully, we get an evolution soon, which is just a skill move upgrade evolution. I would pay, you know, 150k twice, so 300k to get him up to five star skill moves, guys, because I think that would complete this card and make him one of the best cards on the game. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to subscribe to you. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.